Hi there, it's Sam from poodlestock.co.uk. Thank you for joining me today. Today I thought I'd give you a little uh, tour of my craft room. Only my craft room isn't just my craft room. I'm going to zoom out and I actually share my craft room with my children. It is their playroom. It actually used to be our dining room and this is my reality. So I'm just going to reverse up. So this is my little doorway. In I come past toys and normally this floor is covered with toys, with Xbox controllers which you can see down here and I have to pick my way over everything before I can get to my craft desk. But it's a comfortable room, it's a messy room, the floor is trashed, it used to be a dining room and when you've got four children spillages happen. Um, but it's a comfortable room so you know my husband he'll sit on the sofa here of an evening and he'll watch the TV, let me just go slowly round, he'll watch the TV and I'll be crafting away. But this is actually my reality, I don't have a lovely spotless room that's dedicated for me, I share a room. So I thought I would give you a little tour, um, you know this is sort of you know family filing, we've got toys going on in here before fighting their way through to my craft stuff. Um, I've got a box here that's full of cards that I send out to customers, gifts for customers, um, gifts for downline. And then up there is my big shot. Um, and that's just a safe place to keep it. And then that box in the middle is where I keep supply or samples after I finish them and after I've filmed them, they will go up there. That box, that basket rather, that's usually full of... Um, bits and pieces. So if I'm going out to a craft fair and showcasing then I'll put you know business cards and sweets and treats and things in there. Um, inspiration glass jars. This one here, terribly, terribly important. This one is possibly... Oh, please don't autofocus. Oh, goodness. Let's try that again. Very, very important. Full of all my nail polish. Really important. Um, I've got my trimmers up high, these are probably pushing five feet off the ground. When you've got a two-year-old in the house, you want things like that up high. So, um, you know, you can see that, you know, my, my trimmer uh, and cutting boards and then um, rotary edition. These are my swaps for convention that I'm working with. And then spare cardstock. This is scrap cardstock that I use for working on prototypes. More scrap cardstock and old retired DSP that I use for prototypes. Um, catalogues here, order forms. Down here, these four boxes here are actually when I've completed a project and I've filmed it and I've put it onto my blog, it will go in here before it goes on to somewhere else. Maybe it's, you know, I give it as a gift or something like that. Um, and then up here, my shelving, up at the top, the top shelf, you will see loads of beauty bits and pieces. That's because I'm a makeup artist as well and I do writing. Um, so the, that all that stuff up there is all products I'm actually waiting to, to write about so I need to get on with it really. Um, and then the next shelf down, that I'm just going to get a little bit closer, the, the cards over on the right are cards that I've received you know from um, customers to say you know thank you and what have you and downline and actually that one that silver one there is from my lovely friend Tracy. Um, she sent me that when I promoted up and my upline was away on the incentive trip and she sent that to me so um, and then these glass jars here, again, these are projects that are, are in the making that I'm going to be working on here. Over here, I've got some more cards that are in a card holder. Yes, there is a tutorial for that. And then these, those are all of our bigger things. So like our Simply Scent sets um, and uh, boxes that we have. So they're quite big. They're not the easiest to store. My markers, paperwork that's kind of a mixture that's there's it is organized in my brain um but that's the only really messy part about my working life it's um uh those are there's paperwork some for beauty writing some for makeup work and then some for stamping up um but down here these are my big styes and my multi-purpose platform all my framelits are all back here all organized and then these again these are the same card holder boxes as before those hold my embossing folders i'm going to stand on my tiptoes and my ribbons again just for danger purposes these need to be out of child reach because you know a ribbon can be dangerous so anything that that might harm one of my children is out of their way um so that's all of the ribbons and the baker's twine treat cups some of my re because these are the ones I don't use an awful lot of the time. Um, and yes, there is a, a video on, on how to make the, the divided up re storage. It's It's got the nine sections. 
Um, so that's that. And then this is my working desk for when I'm writing. And I'm just going to bear with me a second while I drag this chair out of the way. Um, so this is where I sit when I'm when I'm writing and doing my blog and what have you. And you can see the desk is quite clearly divided up with with the caddy going on here. Um, my mission is to fill this jar with 53 by 3 cards. I'm at about 40 at the moment with all the different DSPs. Um, this was a present from uh, one of my girls, Polly. And this was a gift from my upline. Business cards so that I remember for my various jobs, you know, I remember to put a business card in. Milk carton, it's just cute. This stack of cards here are cards I've made and I've photographed, they've been uh, watermarked, they are just waiting to be written about. So I always have a lot that are on the go. Um, notebooks, I've always got loads. This is the one that got Olivered. If you go and look on my blog, you'll understand. Um, I think it's called A Notebook is Wish Big or something like that. But it got Olivered. Um, mints, partly for eating, but also actually these are things that I'm actually going to be working with. Um, and then we're down here just, oh actually these are my catalogues, these are my copies of them. And actually I've just had to um, make new ones because the other one's got completely trashed and these are just, you know, these are just drawers where you put cellar tapes and stuff, so, you know, office supplies. That is a box that's full of, of makeup stuff that I need to write about and then obviously my tripod. Um, just more sort of general bits and pieces. I've got a, a this and that journal there that has got... Um, samples that I've received, or swaps rather, I've received. But then my DVD um, towers are holding all my Claremont stamps and I have these organised. These were a, a, such a bargain, 50p. My 10 year old came car booting with me one day and I said to him, oh Jack, go and find me um, something to hold some DVDs. And he came back with those three, having paid £1.50 for all of them. And they were just a super bargain, but I've got them very carefully organised. Um, so I've got, a, I only have one best of set and that's there. These are wheel mount, the roller wheel stamps and I separate, or well, I take them off the wheels and actually turn them into long skinny um, stamps. So there's four, um, four DVD cases full. This section here, all alphabetized because just that's the way my brain works. These are the Christmas ones from the seasonal catalog. This section here are stamps that are just images and that don't have a sentiment with them so that's just literally for the image purposes a couple of background stamps these are letters and numbers and then slowly up here a couple of hostess sets that are hostess exclusive and then all of these that go all the way down again in alphabetical order are all stamps that have a matching punch or framelet so that i know if i'm being if i'm doing quick crafting this is the section here that i want to be looking in and then I, you can see I've got, um, what have I got here? Paper piercing map, my stamp and my jig, um, imaging sheets there, my, my uh, what do you call it? Stamp cleaner. <laughs> That's there. This section from here, from, whoops, from here to here, are uh, stamps that have got an image and a sentiment. So if I grab this one, so you can see it's got the image, but it's got sentiments as well. So sometimes if I don't, you know, I, I will look to both. And if I get my way past my light, this section here are exclusively sentiments. So it's all kind of quite organised. Um, and I have my pen. So that that kind of is, is working writing section, but I've got my DVDs, my stamps over here. And then when I'm crafting, my chair just moves backwards and forwards. I craft here. So... Um, you know, I've, I've divided the room up, so, you know, by desk purposes, I keep my scoreboard there. And then under here is my card stock that these are concertina files. I will grab one and bring it up to you to show you actually how I store. But they're concertina files, and at the bottom here, they expand at the bottom. Because normally a, a concertina file will go at that angle, so you'll end up with a V. And that's just hopeless, you can't fit anything in that. So these, these were £2.25 for people in the UK. Wilkinson's. And let me grab one. I'm going to grab the Regals. And I don't keep my cardstock anywhere other than these. And actually, they will expand further. So I keep my full A4 sheets in here, but I also keep the scraps as well. And all of them, I work with everything left to right. So the scraps to the, to the left and the full sheets are to the right. And it's the same all the way, all the way through. Um, and that's how I work with my cardstock. It means that I, I can see at a glance if I've got anything. 
you know, if I need to buy anything, gosh, that is really heavy picking that up one handed. Um, so that's, you know, that's all of the cardstock, that's all of the colours, that's neutrals, regals, um, subtles, brights, and then the in colours, and then just, um, you know, scrap grid paper that I use for when I'm embossing. But then my desk itself, I have over here prototypes that I'm working on that I'm just literally fine tuning. I've got my storage caddy. I've got a, a little box I made that holds blender pens and things like that. This is my tool pot and it's just a jam jar and I just wrapped some designer series paper around it. But these are the tools I work with a lot. So crocodile, big scissors, um, rulers and stuff. My light, it was an expensive light actually. It was very expensive but I love it hand cream <laughs> and then you know I have a baby bib on here and there is a reason for it it's a really old one and actually the colour's not showing up let me turn there we go I loved the colour of it I think this has been through all four children but I like the colour so I've got it here for inspiration actually more than anything um more things for inspiration my desk bin I think this is now becoming quite famous wood mount stamps I haven't got very many of those I'm very much a clear mount girl as you can see and then all of the um, punches that we have. And actually I have a gap down here. I'm going to move this one out of the way. Just the way the room is. That's my radiator back there. But that's actually quite a big gap. So in order to not lose all of these down here. I actually have to use these border punches. Just to stop everything going. My paper piercer. I'll um, talk about these in a minute. But that lives there as well. Small children can't reach there. And from when I'm sat at my desk, at this angle, I can reach everything really easily. Um, I've got my inks, you know, my, my storage caddy. I've only got up here the reinkers I use a lot, but I've got my stamping mist and my stays on cleaner because again, I use those a lot. My clear mount box only sits up here when I'm actually not working. When I am working, it will say, <laughs> I'm, I'm a bit weird. I'm gonna have to bring my chair over. It's a big chair. When I'm working with it, I actually put it behind me because it's really nice on my back. This is just a slightly squishy chair, but it also means that I can put blocks in and out of it quite easily. Um, and then here, this is slightly messy, but it's actually not. It's really, really organised. This is my photo studio. This is where I do, you know, I take all my photographs that go in my blog. And when I'm working, I don't actually shoot a photograph immediately after I've completed a project. I will put them all to here and maybe two or three times a week I will sit and I will photograph everything. And then when that's done, they will be put away. They'll be stored. They'll be, you know, if they, they'll be put to, to write about. Um, this is an advent calendar. It doesn't look like it. Hopefully the video for that will have already come out and it will make sense. But, you know, I've got a bag, card, boxes. And when I want to shoot um, my photos, I just, you know, get my backdrop going as I want. And then up here, these are all projects. These are all projects that I've made the prototype and I'm happy with the result. And they're waiting really just to, at some point in time, to be put into a video or to turn into a video. So I've got a, you know, a Christmas box here. I've got um, a gift pouch here. So these are all, these are all completed. I'm happy with all of those. And they're just waiting to be turned into a video. And I've got my dauber storage. These are candy dots, uh, rhinestones and pearls. These ones, whoops. A soap. One of my downline, Elaine, she makes the soap. And I've had that one actually quite a while, but I love it because when I'm lacking in inspiration, I will pull that out and I will build something around it. Um, these two, these are two separates here. One's got my working glues and adhesives in. So these are the, so there's only one of everything in here that, well, actually they're, Typically there's one of everything and I'm saying that and there's two Tombows in there. But there's only ever one of everything and I just keep spare snails and Tombows and dimensionals in another one. Sponge storage. Not a lot I can say about that really. Um, these are all my embossing um, bits and pieces. So I've got my verse mark in there, my embossing buddy, all the powders. Um, I've also got a uh, sanding block in there for coordinations. But mostly this is sort of my embossing box. Over here, whoops, oh, over here, this box, it's just got a, you know, a couple of spare bits, but these are the inside of when you're, when, if you've bought the clear mount storage block, uh, storage case rather, when it comes to you, obviously it doesn't have these in them, it has all of these that are in all the sections, and you pop that out and then you put your clear mount block in its place, but they are brilliant as piercing mats, and that let me see, 
if I can squeeze that. That is really dense foam and you can see I've used this one already. Um, and they are brilliant for that. So I've got all of those kept there. And then tools, these are um, replacement blades, the stamp and majig, uh, paper piercer, beads that I take to my downline. Um, and then back down here, there's packaging, <laughs> packaging for when I'm sending stuff out. Um, a really old chest of drawers that is maybe 30 years old. My bin, you see, this was such a spare of the moment video, I didn't even empty my bin. That's outrageous, isn't it? Um, I'm just going to move this. And then this is actually where I store all of my DSP. And these, again, these are exactly the same concertina files as before. So they are A4 folders, so you do have paper sticking up, but at £2.25 versus the nearest, which was about £18 for proper um, 12 by 12 storage. I'm happy with this, it, it works for me. And all I've done, I've, I've, these are the paper stacks and the polka dot parade paper at one end. And actually what I've done is I've separated them. So I've got five colors in each one of these. Um, so let me see if I can pick one out that would make sense. This section here, whoops. These ones here are half of the brights, all separated. And there's the other half. That are in that section so I can just come to them quickly and easily. Um, specialty paper, this lot here, these are coordinations again separated in exactly the same way, I don't know how, you can probably see it better actually there, um, separated so five colours in each one of the, the sections and again I can find it easily. These are the textured card stock for from the Christmas catalogue and then this here, this one is my DSP and again, like the cardstock, I keep the full sheets and the scraps together. Um, you can perhaps see it with this one here, which is the winter frost paper. So I've got my full sheets there, I've got my scraps, and then I've... There we go, there's another little scrap down there. So it means that I don't have all my papers in lots of different places. And again, fortunately, there's enough that there's one for each of our DSPs. So I'm quite pleased with that. That was a pure fluke. And then lastly down here are those, these are the papers that we kind of forget that we have um, in the catalogue because they're not hugely featured. So the glimmer paper, uh, window sheets, coaster board. Actually, that's a couple of packs of Naturals White because I've got a workshop coming up. Um, what's this one? Crepe filter paper, the shimmer paper. I've got, yes, those are the foiled papers. You can't see it with this light. But that's the gold and silver from the winter catalogue. Actually I've got 12 by 12 sheets of, of Whisper White here. I don't use those very often. Um, what's this? Watercolour paper and then envelopes and stuff. And these are this is just more photographic uh, tables here that I use. And then I've got here notebooks and photo frames I'm going to work with remarkably under here. That's my poor printer under there. <laughs> It's under there. And then back to kind of reality that that this is actually the real life. This is, you know, household paperwork that's waiting to be filed, stuff to do my children's schools, a couple of broken PC tab tablet PCs that need to be fixed. Um, I don't know what this is, an Xbox game. Um, my, you know, another junk drawer. <laughs> it's my, nothing to do with me. This is my husband, he likes wires. Um, you know, just, you know, photographic paper, more um, refills for my Dymo label, business cards. So this, I'm going to drag my chair out of the way, is my reality. That I have to pick my way, normally over 3,000 toy cars, uh, before I can get to my craft area. But I am, I, I am blessed with a huge window, which I trash by putting post-it notes all over it. So these are... These are things that have popped into my head and I think I really, really, really need to work on that immediately and I stick them up there or I'll put my goals of what do I want to achieve for a week. But I do get to look out on the garden and view my children's toy go-karts and motorbikes and stuff. But it's, you know, this this is my reality. I haven't got a dedicated studio or anything like that. I just, I'm just a girl in a house in, in North Wales that shares her craft room with uh, a playroom and it used to be a dining room um, but I'm comfortable in here and actually this is a spare of the moment video I haven't tidied up first this is how I work I clear up after every single project not at the end of every day 
after every project everything goes away my glues all go away all the inks go away all of the stamps go away all of the buttons the ribbons everything goes away and then I start on the next project and I find I can work really really quickly like that and I also find that I suppose I can be a bit more creative like that. The only thing that never gets tidied up every day is the stuff that's waiting to be photographed. And that's only because I would tidy it away so well I probably wouldn't be able to find it. Um, but this this is how I work. And I'm comfortable in this. And it's it's not a big space, I would say. No, I can't. It's basically, it's it's a desk wide. That's all the space I've got because my shelves are only a tiny little bit deeper. Um, but I'm comfortable in it and my biggest thing is making sure that everything is tidied away. So anyway, thank you very much for joining me on a, a, a wander around my craft back end of the old X dining room come playroom tour. And I will leave you with a little view at a prototype that I'm working on. I'm just trying to work out how to fine tune it, but it opens like that. So anyway, thank you very much for joining me. Um, I hope to see you soon. And I will speak to you soon.